What is the type classification of fluid flows? We introduce the basic concepts commonly used in the analysis of fluid flow to avoid any misunderstanding. There are seven type classification of fluid flows. Viscous versus inviscid regions of flow. Internal versus external flow. Compressible versus incompressible flow. Laminar versus turbulent flow. Natural, or unforced, versus forced flow. Steady versus unsteady flow. 1, 2, and 3 dimensional flows. Viscous versus inviscid regions of flows. The pictures shown the flow of an originally uniform fluid stream over a flat plate in the regions of viscous flow, next to the plate on both sides, and inviscid flow, away from the plate, inviscid flow region. Firstly, in many flows of practical interest, there are regions, typically regions not close to solid surfaces. Then, this region is negligibly small compared to inertial forces. In this region, fluid flows in uniform velocity, viscous flow region. This region has high friction effects are significant. After that, this region is near to surface area. Lastly, in this region it has zero velocity, V equals zero, at solid surface known as no slip condition. Internal versus external flow. A fluid flow is classified as being internal or external, depending on whether the fluid flows in a confined space or over a surface. External flow, the flow of an unbounded fluid over a surface such as plate, a wire, or a pipe. Internal flow, the flow in a pipe or duct if the fluid is completely bounded by solid surfaces. For example, is internal flow, and airflow over a ball is external flow. The flow of liquids in a duct is called open channel flow if the duct is only partially filled with the liquid and there is a free surface. Internal flows are dominated by the influence of viscosity throughout the flow field. External flows, viscous effects are limited to the boundary layers near solid surfaces and to wake regions downstream of bodies. Figures in the slideshow, external flow over a tennis ball, and the turbulent wake region behind, compressible versus incompressible flow. A flow is classified as being compressible or incompressible depending on the level of variation of density during flow. Compressible flow means a flow that undergoes a notable variation in density with trending pressure. Density tie R, X, Y, Z, is considered as a field variable for the flow dynamics. When the value of Mach number crosses above 0.3, density, begins to vary and the amplitude of variation spikes when Mach number reaches and exceeds unity. Incompressibility is an approximation and a flow is said to be incompressible if the density remains nearly constant throughout. The densities of liquids are essentially constant at a particular temperature and thus the flow of liquids is typically incompressible. So liquids are often referred to as incompressible fluids. For a density to remain constant, the control volume volume equal mass over specific density has to remain constant. Even though the pressure changes, the density will be constant for an incompressible flow. The behavior of control volume, CV, for incompressible and compressible flow is depicted in the image below. Laminar versus turbulent flow. Laminar flow or streamline flow in pipes, or tubes, occurs when a fluid flows in parallel layers, with no disruption between the layers. At low velocities, the fluid tends to flow without lateral mixing, and adjacent layers slide past one another like playing cards. There are no cross in laminar flow. The motion of the particles of the fluid is very orderly with all particles moving in straight lines parallel to the pipe walls. Any lateral mixing, mixing at right angles to the flow direction, occurs by the action of diffusion between layers of the liquid. Diffusion mixing can be slow however if the diameter of the pipe of tube is small then this diffusive mixing can be very significant. Next, turbulent flow is a flow regime characterized by chaotic property changes. This includes rapid variation of pressure and flow velocity in space and time. In contrast to laminar flow the fluid no longer travels in layers and mixing across the tube is highly efficient. Flows at Reynolds numbers larger than 4000 are typically, but not necessarily, turbulent, while those at low Reynolds numbers below 2300 usually remain laminar. Flow in the range of Reynolds numbers 2300 to 4000 and known as transition. Lastly, Transitional flow A flow that alternates between being laminar and turbulent. This is formula to find what type of flow by using Reynolds formula. P stand for specific density of liquid, V stand for velocity of viscosity, 
D stand for diameter of the pipe and divided by dynamic of viscosity. Natural, or unforced, versus forced flow. A fluid flow is said to be natural or forced, depending on how the fluid motion is initiated. In forced flow, a fluid is forced to flow over a surface or inner pipe by external means such as a pump or a fan. Different types of devices that help us to move fluid flow. In natural flows, any fluid motion is due to natural means such as the buoyancy effect, which manifests itself as the rise of the warmer, and thus lighter, fluid and the fall of cooler, and thus denser, fluid. For example, flow caused by winds. This flow is due to change in temperatures and pressures. In solar hot water system, for example, the thermosiphoning effect is commonly used to replace pumps by placing the water tank sufficiently above the solar collectors. In this Schlieren image of a girl in a swimming suit, the rise of lighter, warmer air adjacent to her body indicates that humans and warm-blooded animals are surrounded by thermal plumes of rising warm air. Steady versus unsteady flow. As shown in the diagram, there are how steady and unsteady flow. For steady flow it refers to the condition where the fluid properties at a point in the system do not change over time. Example for steady flow is flow through a pipe of variable diameter under constant pressure head. The unsteady flow is against the steady flow. It refers to the condition where the fluid properties at a first point in the system change over the time. The example of unsteady flow is flow through a pipe of variable diameter under variable pressure due to an increasing or decreasing water level of a reservoir or opening or closure of a cab or starting or stopping hydraulics machines connected to the pipe. Next point is one, two, and three-dimensional flows. A flow is said to be one, two or three-dimensional if the flow velocity varies in one, two, or three dimensions respectively. The variation of velocity in certain directions can be small relative to the variation in other directions and can be ignored. A flow field is best characterized by its velocity distribution. The development of the velocity profile in a circular pipe. V equals VR, Z, and thus the flow is two-dimensional in the entrance region and becomes one-dimensional downstream when the velocity profile fully develops and remains unchanged in the flow direction.